All right, what's up, everybody? Um, got the radiator off of my uh, 2007 ZX6R here. Um, pulled up to work the other day, and coolant started leaking out of this thing pretty heavily. Um, so there she is. I got the radiator off. Um, at first, I thought I had caught a rock on the front side, but when I got this off, I actually noticed um, this is the fan, so this faces the the tank, so the back side. Um, and when I got this apart, I don't know if we'll be able to see it. I already got the screws out of this, but the fan comes off. Um, there's actually, you can see, maybe, let me zoom. If it'll focus. There it is. Right there is where it's leaking from. It's a real tiny, almost like pinhole size, and it's on the back side. So I didn't catch a rock. Um... A little further investigation, what I have realized, let me show you, I'll put the fan back on there. Um, so the fan, it has two brackets up here that bolts go into, and on the bottom side, it also has a bracket, and you can actually see that, oh, that bracket is broken. Um, damn it, focus, there we go. Um, you can see that it's broken, it, it was attached there, and... I guess it's broken off and you can see where it's been rubbing down here. So I don't know how long that's been rubbing. But with that broken off up here on the front side, this little nut that holds the fan to this bracket has apparently probably been rubbing on there for a while. Um, and that little rub over time is what's caused this son of a bitch to start leaking. So... What I'm going to do today, these radiators run about six, seven hundred bucks for a brand new OEM. And you can get a, you can get an aftermarket one for a couple hundred bucks. But what I'm going to attempt to do, it'll be my first time today. I'm going to try to actually just repair this. Um, and what I'm going to use to do that, you can find this at any hardware store. This is a, this is aluminum brazing rods. Um, so I'm basically just going to solder that sucker onto there. See if I can't patch up that hole. It's very small. I don't think I'll have any problems doing it. Um, using these aluminum brazing rods. Um, I'll be using... I'm going to attempt to use this torch here. It's kind of big, but it's just a butane torch. This one's actually propane. Excuse me. Um, just some sort of torch. You may have a little pocket butane torch. You could use whatever. I'm also going to use just a little Dremel with like a just a cutting wheel or some kind of wheel to clean that area, a little wire brush. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up around this sucker right here. Um, I'm going to try not to take any of the fins out in the area. I'll just leave them. Um, I'll see how it goes. Otherwise, you could take out the fins probably around this little section. That way the solder can flow in there a little better. But it's such a small hole, I don't think I'll have any problems. So I'm going to attempt to do that. And then once I get that repaired... I'm also going to, this bracket actually sets up in there and it feels pretty solid right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm also going to solder that joint. Um, and then depending on how that solder goes, I may also stick some aluminum. This is a JB weld. It can be used on aluminum also. So I may do a double coat of that after I solder it just to... Give that guy some support right there and not move. If that doesn't work, then I'll have to think of a plan B. Because you can see that this is um, riveted in there. And I don't know where I can get another one of these brackets. Plan B will be to take this guy off and then actually weld this with proper weld. And see if I can get a, a something kind of a rivet or a little screw to go in there. But maybe with some solder here and some JB weld to... Uh, help out it shouldn't go anywhere I mean this doesn't really support a lot it just keeps this guy from moving around because the top sides supporting all the weight as well so that should be good but that's what I'm gonna attempt to do today so let me start cleaning this sucker off and I'll show you the steps along the way alright see if we can't clean this guy up a little bit before we weld him
All right. Now you can see the puncture a little bit better where it's been rubbing. Oh, there it is. So shined it up a little bit, cleaned the surface. You can see where the hole is clearly now. That's what I'm going to be trying to uh, fill in with this uh, aluminum brazing rod here. So let's do that. All right. Never done this before. Let's see what happens here. So I'm just going to start by heating the area a little bit. You want the area around it to be hot as well. Okay guys, there we have it. I had to cut out from the film in there because I was never done this before and I had to kind of give her a go a couple times until I got it. But um, I did get a little goop up here on the, the fins a little bit, but that won't matter. It's in this area. It'll still get plenty of airflow through there. Um, and I just went and did a, a water test, filled it up with some water. Um, and didn't have any kind of drippage or seepage coming from this area at all. The real test will be when I get it uh, back on the bike and pressurize a little bit to see if it'll hold. But I can tell just by by looking at it that this is pretty solid. Um, takes some pretty high heat from the uh, torch to even get this aluminum to start melting. Um, and then once it was on here, um, the radiator was actually dissipating so much heat that I couldn't... Um, reheat this glob enough with the torch I had so that's why I kinda just had to leave it and then just grind it down a little bit but either way I think this should be good to go um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the bracket area um, I'll probably take this little rubber grommet off first so I don't melt that sucker but I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, use the aluminum to solder on the the bracket as well and that thing shouldn't be going anywhere so I'll try to film that and here we go. Alright, so what I've done here, I went ahead and put the fan back on and, and bolted it in so that I could line it up with where I want it to actually be. Um, focus baby, focus. There we go. So along this seam here, this is where it's broken off and this is where it was rubbing down here. but. Um, what I've kind of done is positioned it and tightened it all down so that it sets behind this broken broken seam. You can see how I've stuck it back there and it's kind of jammed up against the wall here. And then what I'm going to do is run a bead of that aluminum across here. Um, with the idea, I don't know if it'll work, I hadn't even really seen this done before, but... The idea is that that'll hold it in place enough to not have any problems anymore. And you can see I have plenty of clearance here now between the nut and uh, the radiator fin. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, depending on how the aluminum comes out, I may also put some JB Weld around there. But here we go. Well, damn it. That wasn't working out like I had originally hoped. I guess maybe my torch just isn't getting hot enough. Maybe you'll have better success if you're trying to do this yourself. Um, so, my plan B at the moment, I'm just going to use this JB Weld steel stick. This is compatible with aluminum, all kinds of stuff, so I'm just going to knead a whole bunch of that down in those crevices and around it. I just really need something just to keep it in place. Um, I'll see how that goes if it's moving around. If not, I maybe get some type of, like, clamp bracket and I'll just clamp this here on each side of this. And it shouldn't go anywhere either. But you can see it has a little play. I just want to be able to subside that where it doesn't move around. Because that's what caused it to drop down and rub a hole in it in the first place. So, plan B. Depending on that, I may go to plan C, which will be actually get a buddy to weld it or something. So, fuck. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so now I'm on plan B. A little of this steel stick. Kneading it together for the catalyst to start effect. Um, then I'm just going to try to work it down into all of these parts and try to get it in there as securely as I can. I'm going to use this flathead screwdriver to try to get it down in that crack. The more the merrier. And 
And this should set up in about five minutes. I'll know if it's going to kind of work or if I need to apply more. And I think it has about an hour for it to fully cure. So just working this on there. Just build up a little area. And again, I'm kind of just winging this. Um, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But. Okay, guys. It's been a hour or two I went and had lunch actually um, but coming back so this JB Weld steel stick is pretty much set up and I'm actually very happy with it I mean this thing feels solid this sucker ain't going anywhere so it does look kinda of bulky but it'll be hidden under the bike as long as my weld holds up in there on the radiator repair this thing should be good to go for quite some time Definitely pretty solid, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back on the bike, flush some distilled water through there and get it up to the pressure, and double check that we don't got any leaks. It's running. No leak. Problem solved.